All right, we're out here. It's Saturday. It's the first day. We can get out on the snowmobile and stuff like that. I'm with my boy, Ono. Buddy forgot his glove, so he's got his wife's glove and then he's got my glove in the other one. We're gonna try to target new structure that we haven't fished before. Whitefish and lake trout. The lake trout is still deep and uh, the lake hasn't froze over and we're obviously not fishing Kappenfelt. We're out here with the snowmobile. We have about 12 to 10 inch of really good ice. And uh, we're gonna drill some hole. Today I'm gonna try to show you how to target whitefish and what I do exactly and what I use and how I present it. Let's go. set up and let's talk about my full setup and how I catch whitefish the baits I use and the reason why I use them I keep looking back there because we see some fish but let's talk about what bait I'm using and how I'm using those baits my best bait for whitefish over the last two well this year and the past year is by far the drifter we talked about it many 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 times that's your drifter. And if you wonder why they're eating this, this juvenile goby color, well, that's why they're biting this. Because right here, the whitefish I just caught has, has puked up a little goby, about a bit smaller than the drifter. Very similar in color. Look at the black dot. And on the drifter, there's black dots. You just can't see them on the camera. That's what they're eating. That fish is still alive, that little goby. That's my number one bait. Gobies will never go away. The prolifer on Lake Simcoe, it's only getting better, and the whitefish are keen in on those gobies. So the drifter is what I use primarily all the time for whitefish. You can swim it off bottom, you can leave it on bottom, it's not gonna sink on bottom. It's your finesse bait. If they're aggressive, sure, go with the vibrato, go with a different bait. Second bait, we talked about it, vibrato. Obviously a staple bait here on Lake Simcoe. It imitates a shiner, can imitate a goby as well. It's a good attracting bait. It's one you, you jig up and down. You can fish it all the way through the water column. This will attract the fish. You can use a turn back shad as well. The turn back shad from Freedom Tackle, just like a jigging wrap, but it turns around and comes back on its side. Covers a lot of water. You can change the treble hook at the bottom. I've caught a lot of white fish on this. This is a good search bait. It's fast, it gets on bottom quick. It's durable, good hooks, and you don't get line twist. Those are the main baits I will use for white fish. They bite other stuff. There's other bait companies out there, but that's my style. I use two baits, one to attract them and one to finesse them. If they bite the attractor, so be it, which will be the vibrato in this case in this rod. And the other rod, I have my finesse rod. That's how I'm fishing them. That's how you're seeing how I'm fishing them. One on bottom, one, one in the middle of the water column to get attract the big white, the, the white fish to come through, and then I finesse them. He's right on bottom, right on my bait. So I'm just gonna tap it lightly on bottom until he eats it. He had it in its mouth. He's placing himself. He's on my bait right now. He should pick it up any second. That's where the drifter shines. He's on it now. Got him. There you go. Yes. 
a good white fish too. Hopefully he doesn't go in my camera and my other rod. That took a while. You know, he was just placing himself back and forth. He choked it too. Like I felt that, like my rod lifted up and I just set the hook. Reaction time has to be quick on those fish. Little drifter, drifter, my dude. He's at the hole. That's a big one too. That's a big whitey. So I'm gonna let him fight in the hole. He can't really go anywhere once he's here. I'm pointing my rod away, because if it, if it comes unbuttoned, the hook's not gonna come in my face. Little tip from sea bass here. I'm gonna grab the back of his fin right, right here. Oh yeah, just like a tuna. There you have it. it. That's a thick one. It's really big fish. Above average, thick all the way to the tail. Natural, important to release those guys. Especially where we're catching them right now. If I told you where I was catching them, you wouldn't believe it. It's crazy. If you like the underwater footage, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and oh no, yeah. you muck muck, I stole your fish. I know you did. <laughs> He's ready. He's already kissing me. There you go. Back down he goes. The drifter does the damage when it comes to finesse. And as you can see on the video, that drifter doesn't bury itself on bottom. It's just there for him to eat. Natural presentation. It's not super heavy when he picks it up so he doesn't spit it back up. And the hook, the hook is meaty. So we're gonna change that drifter. It did it. I got every color in the book in this bag. I put them all in one bag. And what I've been catching them on steady always is the juvenile goby. Is the color of a juvenile goby before he starts to mate or anything. That's the color they are when they're young. Little, little black dots you can see inside. The important part is the eyes and natural action of that bait on the hook we're using it. My snaps, my snap I have on. This is mostly for lake trout when I want to change bait quickly, but this is a finesse that white fish took a while to bite, and I think that might have been one of the reasons. Remove that, and we're gonna tie it directly, finesse style. So we do my famous knot. If you have never seen this knot, you should check it out. It's the best fluorocarbon knot you can have. It's in my video, one of the first video I've ever made. You can make fun of me in the comment on how skinny I was back then. A little a lubrication. And I got a fish on bottom. The way I'm rigging it, I'll make sure it's straight, straight, straight. Once the nose is at the bend here, I know I'm far enough. I come straight to the top. There you go. Now we have a drifter. There you go. Now we have a drifter. And this is your presentation to the supernatural, soft like a goby. I'm going back down there. See if I can get myself another one. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you do enjoy this video, smash that like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys on the water catching some big whiteies like this. Time out, time out, time out. This sounded way too much like Henry Washchuck. I, I hope to see you boys on the water. Let's go.